Hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And this is another Python video tutorial. So, you know, computers sit around and we don't look at them a whole lot. Sometimes you have multiple laptops and I just happened to pull this Windows laptop out that I haven't used since last year. And I thought I better check my Python version. I thought I wanted to share this with everybody to show you uh, the steps you'd go through to upgrade your Python. So the first thing we're gonna do is check and see what version of Python you have. So just type in CMD for command. And you're gonna just type in Python 3. We can see we have version 3.8.6. 3.8.6. My next step is I'm gonna go out to the Python website and I'm gonna see what version are we on now? What version should I be on? So let's type in here python.org. And we're going to see what version we should be on here for the programming language. Now, please remember when you're upgrading your versions, make sure you upgrade across the board. Now, I know some guys, it's, it's got them in trouble before where you write a new script on the latest and greatest Python. You throw it on a server where you have a Python version that's three or four versions back. And it doesn't run quite as well as you think it should. Okay. So it's saying downloads here, it's saying version 3.9.6 is up, okay? 3.9.6. But it says 3.9 cannot be used on Windows 7 or earlier, so you have to have Windows 10 or above, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the start button again. What I like to do is remove Python from my computer. I don't wanna do an inline upgrade, okay? I found some weird things happen to that with a lot of our students. And I don't really want you to do that. I would rather you go into Programs and Features. And whatever version of Python's in here. And you may be saying, Jack, I see it on there. Yeah, you do. Because I was playing around earlier. So I'm going to remove 3.9.6 and then we'll re-add it. But, so let's go ahead and take 3.9.6 back out. Or back off the computer. It's just a lot cleaner way to do it, guys, if you, and girls out there, if you uninstall all your old Pythons and install a new version. Like I said, my students in class find that this works a lot better. It's a lot easier to get everything uh, working the way you want it to and sync back up again. So, all right, let's, uh, I'm going to pause this video because we're not going to watch this thing remove and I'm not going to sit here and, and uh, just keep talking aimlessly. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to remove. Once we have that version removed, and as I said, whatever version, you also see the 3.8.5. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to remove that also. So let me take that out. It's going to remove the uh, 3.8.5. So again, let me pause here until this completes. All right, now we have 3.8.5 uninstalled. Click close. I did see Python launcher here. So I'm going to remove that also. This way I remove all instances of Python. Okay, I got everything off of here that, that Python loaded previously. And I know that I'm ready for the new version. Now you can do what's called an inline upgrade. Um, but again, in working with computers for so many years, and I found that inline upgrades don't always do exactly what we expect them to do. Uh, and like updating paths and everything else that we need. So I like to have everything clean. Okay, so everything is clean here and off the computer. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and download that new version. So here's the version for Windows. We're gonna download this. It says I downloaded it before, but we're gonna just download it again here, okay? Now, depending on your internet connection speeds, actually, you guys and girls out there know it's very important for a fast internet connection. Uh, that downloaded pretty quickly. Now we're going to go ahead and open this up. Okay. So here, look here with the bottom where it says add Python 3.9 to path. Make sure that is selected. Make sure that's selected. It's going to install it into Python, Python 3.9. Uh, includes the IDE, includes everything we want. So we can click on install now. 
but make sure that path is selected because that's going to allow us to bring it up with the DOS command prompt and we should see the new version if you do this. It's also going to allow VS Code to find it a lot easier if it's already in the path. When you launch VS Code um, or if you're using uh, you know, any of the other editors out there, they will be able to find it and you will be able to, to program with the 3.9.6 engine instead of whatever version you may be using. Now that's not to say, and I do teach in class, that's not to say that you know if you program in 3.9.6 it still probably will run in 3.8.6 but why not if it's a free download upgrade all of your machines that you're running this on if you write a script on your laptop you're going to put it on one of your servers or maybe you're going to throw it on Linux or throw it on a Mac somewhere make sure that it's all um, you know the same version it just really really will help you in the end uh, I've been teaching this a long time and, and these are just little tricks that we found over the course of years of teaching uh, programming in Python okay so just click okay folks so now after a simple reboot I'm going to go back to the command prompt I'm going to show you something here so if we do right here okay now a lot of you might have already been saying Jack it's very simplistic to find a version so let's type in Python space dash dash version and you'll see now that we are on 3.9.6 in our Python path, okay? If we wanted to load that, just simply type in Python, hit enter. You'll see now that we're inside the Python interpreter and we are on version 3.9.6. So it's very, very simplistic. Now go into your VS code to make sure that you can open a file. Do I just did test.py just to create a Python file. And in your lower left-hand corner, you'll see what version you're running. See where it says Python 3.9.6? So that is the current version I'm running. Now, if you open this up and you cannot find it, okay, it's not in the list here, all you have to do is just click on Enter the Interpreter Path and Enter the Path to where the Python EXE is located in the Python 3.9 folder because we know that's 3.9. Now, if you're having trouble finding that, all right, let me see if I can't get this uh, moved around here. Uh, let's take this down here. Let's bring this up. Go into your system properties and go into environment variables. You'll see the path right here. Okay. Click edit. The path that you want is this one. The users, your name, app data, local programs, Python, Python 3.9, not the scripts folder. Then all I did was click edit, and I can copy this. So I can copy this out, and copy that. I can close that, I'm done with it. I can close that, I'm done with that too. Okay. Open this back up. You'll just enter the, in, the interpreter uh, path, and just stick it in there, and at the end of it, at, it'll say Python 3. Point, or 39 slash type in python.exe when you close that box uh, let's see if we can get out of there you'll see down here this will change to 3.9.6 and you know now that you're programming in the proper version that you should be programming in so folks I'm sorry I knew this was a little lengthy uh, of a process here but you know it's something you have to be able to do okay uh, it's not that hard actually on Linux as much as Windows. Windows has all these variables that you got to deal with and everything else. So um, I just wanted to throw those out there to you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If it is, leave a comment below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and follow along with some of these Python tutorials. If you are obviously my Photoshop Elements uh, folks, you probably didn't watch this anyway, but if you did, there is more Photoshop Element tutorials coming. So don't unsubscribe, stick around, and we'll have a, a multi-facet channel here. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.